everyone, it's Rennie here from Witchcraft You Do, and today I want to show you how to make these little mini books from our new digital. They're extra cute, and they're very small, and they're super easy. So let's make a couple together. The digital has five sheets in it. It has the covers, the pages, some blank pages, some tiny little envelopes, and some elements. I'm going to start by cutting out the covers. And I'll meet you back here in a minute. Right, I've cut out the covers and now I'm just going to score them. Just going to use this piece of felt. So down this line here. And this inner line here. And here. And again over here. I'm just going to do that with all of them. I'm just going to start by making this plain one. I'm just going to use my cutting knife to trim the sides off the pages like this. Right, for now I'm leaving the edges on here and to make it easier to fold the pages I'm just going to score lightly down all the lines this way in this direction. Okay, now I'm just going to start folding doesn't matter which way at the moment because we're just making the, the lines a crease and we'll refold it after we've got all the creases in the paper. Okay, so now I have all my creases in. I want to make sure that I'm putting the backs of the pages together. So I start, I'm start. i going to start with this fat edge and I'm going to fold it in or over the top and then the other way. And then keep flipping and doing that accordion style folding till we're all done like that. So I've got all the lines on and here as pages and these are all blanks. So now I'm just going to take a glue stick and glue on the inside of these pages. Oopsie daisies. Glue stick's a bit cold. Press that one together, open up the next pair, glue those together, open up the last pair, glue, glue, glue. So once you've got that done, I'm just going to open these two folds back together and I'm just going to trim it so that they are the same height, roughly. So 
So then I have the two flaps on this side and the pages on this side. Now, next step is to get your scissors and trim just up to the line. Doesn't matter if you go over just a bit, but just make sure you don't trim it all the way through. Alright, so next we want to use the glue again. Glue on this edge, folding that over and press. And same again on the other edge, folding over and press. Alright, so once you've done that, you'll find that somewhere in the middle there's an open pocket here and you want to find where that is and just trim into the edge of the pages. Like that. So that you can fold this back out. Alright, I'm just going to glue these two loose flap pieces together on both sides. Where's the other one? Is there another one? Yes, there it is. Glue and fold. Press, press. So now I've got all of my pages here and I have these two edge pieces. I'm just going to put them together and trim on a slight diagonal like so. Right, now I'm going to pick a cover. I think we'll start with this one. And I'm just going to fold where the spine is. Like this. Then I'm going to put glue on the inside of these two uh, flaps, making sure I get it all glue everywhere. And I'm going to place it in the middle of the spine, lining it up on both sides. And sometimes if you look from the uh, pattern side on the edge you'll see if you've got it in the middle or if you need to move it over a bit. So I've not quite got it right in the middle so I'm just going to readjust that slightly. Put a bit more glue on that. Look again, that's better. That could do over a bit. Alright. Then press this down. Alright, now I'm going to put glue on the inside of this cover piece. And fold it in just a little bit away from the edge of the, the paper there so there's this little room. Press that down and do the same on the other side. Just like that. Right. Now I'm just going to press along the edge of the spine. I'm just going to use the edge of the scissors to run up the side of the spine to flatten it out a little bit. Like that. Right. Next I want to hide where my joins are. I don't want to see those. And you'll 
when you look through your book, it'll be every three pages you'll see another sort of join page. Now I would like to hide those, so I'm just going to get the elements page, and that's what these little bands are for. So I'm just going to cut them off the page. Okay, so I'm going to start at the front of the book. Just going to get one of the strips, cover it in glue, and place it down oops, on the edge like that. Close the book. Now I have my book. And if you wanted to, you could do all of the pages. They don't need them, but you can, because it looks cute. All right, and then it's time to decide what I want to put on the front. So, oops, just going to have a look at the rest of the elements. I think for this one I'm just going to put one of these words just this notes yep I like that let's do that just like that got a little notebook Alright, let's make another one. Now I printed the plain one on uh, some paper that I'd coloured. So let's do this one and let's do this one a little bit different this time. Let's cut the whole thing out. Going to score the lines again to make them easier to fold. Going to do my folding. Ok, 
Okay, and backs together, fronts together, backs together, fronts, backs. Alright, so now I'm up to here, we're doing the gluing again. over next fold it over next oopsie daisies and fold it over. Alright, now I've got it glued. This time I'm going to cut the segments apart. So this time you're going to end up with three pages and three lots of three pages, should I say. All right, this time I want to use some of the mini envelopes. So I've already cut some out. And I think I'd like to use these two in this one. So I'm just going to fold those and glue them. One tiny little envelope. Two tiny little envelopes. Excellent. So now we're going to need some more of the little um, strips, like little bits of washi tape or something. So I'm going to cut a bunch more out. Okay, so now I'm going to take a page and an envelope. I'm going to put them together like this. Flap end out, page opening out. I'll just turn that over so it's easier to put down. Pick a strip. didn't 
get a lot of glue on that end. Let's try that again. This glue isn't behaving very well today. So I'm just going to fold that over, press to make sure that, that glue stays down and grab another page, page side out, grab another strip, adhesive glue, going to put it on the envelope side first, extra glue. works, fold, grab the other envelope, grab another strip, pop it on the page first, envelope going to trim that page because there we go better and then last page Envelope, extra glue, throw the glue stick away, page, and fold. Press. Alright, so now I need a cover. So let's grab this one. I'm going to just fold the spine parts. Because I'm not putting in white pages, this time I might do. Oops, microphone cord. I might do a little bit of inking on the spine so uh, it'll hide the white from around the pages. Just like that. Alright, so before I glue this in, I actually need to uh, glue the pages over the cover together. So there we go. And There we go. Right, and now I want to put the uh, strip on the edge of the book on one side. 
on an angle, try again. Okay, and I'm going to fold that out a bit like that. Still got it on a bit of an angle, but we'll live with it this time. And then do another one on the other side. Fold it open as well. Now I'm putting glue on the folded open piece of the spine on both sides and down the edge of the pages. I'm going to find where the center of the book is approximately and then close the whole thing and press. Reopen back at my page, but I'm not going to open too far yet because it's not glue's not dry and if I open it too far it'll just rip it off again. So that'll do for now. See a little bit of white here that I'm just going to trim off. What I might do is just give it a little bit of inking. Just to hide the little white trimmed edges. So now we've got an envelope in the book, every few pages, that we can tuck little things in. So for the cover on this one, I think I'd like to make it look a little more vintage. So I'm going to use one of these uh, fancy spines. all over that. And fold that over like that. And I think but one of these little tiny faux book titles and maybe a picture. Let's cut this one out and have a look. And maybe this flourish thing. Maybe put the picture up here. Maybe like that. Maybe just the picture, actually. If 
I want to put something else on there, I can maybe put Okay, so that's another little book finished. Alright, let's do the last one together with the fancy pages. And we're going to do this the same as we did the first one. So I'm just going to trim off the edges and leave the ends. Scoring the folding lines lightly because I've just printed the uh, pages on 80 GSM copy paper so they're very thin but I printed the covers on 250 GSM card so they're a bit thicker right, so fat end out and in, out, in, out, in, out. Just like that. Gluing the pages together. I'm going to trim the edge so both these little flaps are the same size then I'm going to trim the pages up to the line or just a touch over is okay Pressing, gluing, folding, and pressing. Just going to find the middle, trim to the pages on each edge. Fold over, and I'm just gluing that over on that side, and gluing that over so that the flaps are just one solid piece on each side. I'm pulling, pulling them back up again so I can trim them on a bit of an angle. Pick a cover. Let's go this one. Fold the spine parts and 
glue on the flaps. Make sure there's no text or anything, which means it needs to be a right way up because these have images on them, these pages. Just try and put that in the middle. Yep, that looks good. Press down. And glue. And fold it over. using the edge of my scissors just to flatten the spine sometimes get a bit of a curve in it when you bend it another thing you can do which I do sometimes is use my metal ruler before I fold the page up to just give it a help making the uh, the line and that can sometimes help too all right so down a bit more there. I'm going to use the ink to get rid of the little white lines on the edge of the book. And then just like before, I'm going to use some of these little strips to uh, go on the edges. So this time, making sure I have the pages up the right way, let's have a look at this. Let's just pop that on there. And maybe a little number. little book. Now I did, uh, which one is it? When I did this one I just did envelopes in it so the whole thing is just envelopes inside the cover. You fill it full of little uh, embellishments or things. I've just shoved these little card things in there. But you could have a lot of fun with it. and uh, make your own paper and print out the, the grid on there. Decorate these little pages with some elements if you'd like. Anyway, that's how you put them together. I hope you have fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.